Hey everybody, John here from NKMesh.com. In a previous video, I covered how to set up a lead generation form with Groundhog and Elementor. And we're going to continue that lesson here by using the booking calendar extension within Groundhog to be able to take those leads and send them access to a booking calendar where they can book some time with you and sync that up with Google Calendar. Okay, you're going to learn all that in this video. So I've already downloaded my booking calendar. If you would like to get some of the access to these awesome extensions with Groundhog, you can use my affiliate link, which I would greatly appreciate. It's incomemesh.com slash Groundhog, and that'll take you over here where you can get the all access pass at a very nice discount. So let's go back into our website and just review what we've already done in previous videos where we have this funnel set up where people will be able to click a button and uh, sign up for a discovery call. So what I want to do is once they've actually signed up for this, I want to send them a link to an actual scheduling page. And to do that, I want to use the booking system built into Groundhog. So I'm going to come back into my dashboard of this website and let's just create a very simple schedule page. And to do that, I just want to be very geeky. And instead of doing it in a simple uh, page, which you could do in WordPress, I really want to visualize the process of people finding about finding out about my business on the landing page, signing up for it, and then going into the actual scheduling tool where I can see on this analytics area, which when I install the pro version, I'll have analytics on all this, I'll be able to actually see how that converts. So what I want to do here is add a new step. Let's make one more blank step. We'll call this also a landing page because there's no real functionality we need for this step here. And now landing three, we're going to call this the scheduling page. So I'm going to come into edit. We'll call this schedule discovery call. And we'll edit this permalink here to be schedule call. We'll call it schedule discovery. That works. Once again, I'll make this a template for page builders and I'll hit. Alrighty. So the next step here, let's go and edit this with Elementor and we'll go in and embed some pretty cool functionality. So the first thing, let me just get the design kind of how I want it. Again, we'll use a very simple design from this uh, layout pack. Let me just pick a page at random. We really just want the header and then I'll chop out all the design and make this a very clean designed um, schedule page. I'll probably be changing all this text, but at least I want to get the, the grunt, grunt work done here. So I'll clear out the majority of this. Let me see which section I want to use. I'll just be using this clean section here as pretty much everything. So let me get rid of what we don't want. Okay, so I've cleaned out everything, but here I will just call this schedule your time. And I'll remove this, remove this. Okay, now we actually need to get the scheduler, right? So I'm going to go and update this and let's spend a little bit of time together going and creating a schedule tool within Groundhog. So to do that, let's come back over to plugins and add new. And I'm going to upload a plugin that I just downloaded, which was the booking plugin. So here's the groundhog appointments. I'll just find that guy and install him. All right. And I'll activate it. Very good. So now if we come over to the groundhog area, we should see something new. We'll see calendars here as well. So if we click on calendars, this will allow us to add a new calendar and set it all up where people can book appointments. So for the owner of the calendar, we're going to call this uh, info at convert dash is the owner. And we'll call this discovery calendar. The description here is not going to be seen on the front end. So just make this very descriptive for you guys. And then here you can say uh, what days do you want to block out. So I don't want to have discovery calls on the weekends. That's not what I'm all about. But during the day, let's say um, it has a morning shift and an afternoon shift. You can change this if you need to, but this will work for me. And I don't want to do five to seven. That is family time, which I'm all about. So you got the 12 hour time, a lot of different settings on buffer time. You know, do you want people to be able to book you back to back to back? Or do you need time in between? If you're not very busy, you can <laughs> uh, make it look busy by only having a certain number of slots available on a particular day, et cetera, et cetera. Go ahead and keep this as it is. The thank you page is also something that we're going to probably want. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly make a, a framework for a page here for the thank you for booking. So I'll make one more step. And in here, let's just call this thank you for booking and update this. Thanks for booking. And we'll update this just so we have that good URL we can use. Okay, so I'll take that link and I'll come back here and send them to the thank you page so they'll get redirected when they sign up successfully. 
You can adjust the colors and all sorts of cool stuff, but I'll leave that default for now and just see how this looks on the other end. Okay, so our calendar is looking pretty good. I'm going to come back to the calendars area, which should give me the short code for it. Boom, here we go. So I'm going to copy this short code and let's come back over to our scheduling a discovery call. So I'm going to look for short code here on my toolbar and I'll put this right here and I'll paste it. I'll hit apply. And let's remove that text that got missed the first time around. Okay, so I think we're looking good. Again, it doesn't look fantastic when you're first designing it all. Uh, so you really want to hit update and let's view this on the front end. I'll view the page. And now you can see I've got a, a good looking time scheduler where I can click on it. And it will ask me which time slot I want. Uh, these are set up to one hour intervals, which I meant to make them 30 minutes, but one hour will work. And then here you go when they sign up, it'll also ask for their name and information, which is okay. Uh, that's perfectly acceptable when they're signing up for a strategy call to ask for that information. You can also add additional custom fields, like it's asking for a phone number here, but I might want it to ask for a Skype ID or send them a Zoom invite or something like that here. So let's quickly test this out and I'll book an appointment. And what should happen is it'll take me to this page here, the thanks for booking, which I could have customized as well in that funnel. So the last thing I want to show you is when we come back here to our calendars area and we look into this calendar, we will now see a discovery call set up at 2 p.m. We click on it. We'll be able to see this pending so you can approve or deny calendar requests. I'll say approve on this guy. It'll show you the start and end time, and you can easily manage your calendar directly here from within WordPress. You can also, if we come over to the settings within Groundhog, we'll be able to have a new calendar area, which will ask for a Google API client and secret keys. If you've ever done uh, integrations with the calendar API, it can be a little tricky. Um, I'll do tutorials on that later on, but you can integrate this where it'll pass that information to your Google Calendar and vice versa so that people can block out time when you're already busy on your Google Calendar. So that is a quick look at Groundhog's appointment calendar system built in directly to your WordPress dashboard, integratable with Google Calendar. It's a lot of things you can do and it all comes very easy to set up and easy to understand. If you enjoyed this tutorial and like what I'm doing here on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and like the video and share it with your friends. If you'd like to send me some more ideas of what I should be covering in my future videos, leave a comment below. Let me know what you like, what you don't like, what's not clear, and I can make sure to clear it all for you up in the future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.